Endochondral, cartilaginous, or indirect bone formation, involves production of bone in areas, where there are high levels of compression. Thus, it is seen in the, cranial base, and in movable joints. During endochondral bone formation, first step is the differentiation of mesenchymal cells, into chondrocytes. These chondrocytes form a rough model, which is enclosed by perichondral cells. Cartilage mass, grows both by interstitial growth, and by apposition. Cartilage cells hypertrophy, and their matrix, begins to get calcified. During this time, blood vessels penetrate the cartilage mass, from the perichondrium. These penetrating blood vessels, carry undifferentiated mesenchymal cells along with them, which gets converted into osteoblasts. Osteoblasts subsequently deposit bone, and bone spicules are formed. Gradually the cartilage mass, is replaced by bone. Endochondral bone, is not formed directly from cartilage, osteoblasts invade cartilage, and replace it.